Hello everybody, welcome back to the third free-to-play build that we're doing for the Rune Knight. This time I'm showcasing the Windcutter bit and we're actually running two OCPs in this build, but still fairly budget. Like I said in my previous videos, um, these are get aimed for people who don't really want to spend a lot of money in the game. Maybe spend a little bit of money, but not to the point where you're breaking the bank, if you know what I mean. So today I'm showcasing the wind cutter build and we're going to start off with the weapon, which is the hypocrisy edge. This is actually one of the sin weapons from episode 17.2. Um, basically it increases your wind cutter damage by 10%, attack plus 12 every three refines. At plus seven, you get plus 10% wind cutter damage. Um, at plus 9 you get a reduction of your on your AC theory after cast delay by 10% and at plus 11 you get an additional wind cutter damage to 15% so that's roughly about 35% additional wind cutter damage plus all the other possibilities that you can get if you actually get good enchants I actually got shit once here um, we're running two of the greater Alnoli card which is 10% um, additional melee physical damage. The reason I'm using the two-hand sword here is because Wind Cutter will actually do two attacks instead of one compared to when you're using a spear. If you're using a spear, it's a long-range damage. Now, moving to our first OCP for the build, it's the Black Ribbon, um, attack plus two every five base strength. And it reduces the cooldown of your wind cutter by 1.8 seconds. Not that it, that matters. What's important is the reduction of wind cutter um, SP cost by 16, and the 50% wind cutter damage. Um, you'll understand about the SP cost a little bit later. Um, moving on to the purple Ferris card again. Attack plus 3%, additional 2% because it's plus 9. Although you get a reduction on your HP and SP by 5%. Now the next very crucial part of the build is the Pew's set or Pew's set, however you guys want to uh, want you call it. Basically, attack plus 20. That's what we're really looking at. And if you have all the other components, um, you get attack plus 10%. Additional damage for wind cutter by 100%. The chance to cast level one storm blast on the target when performing a physical attack and then it also adds a chance to buff you for 10 seconds um, when you cast spear dynamo which is attack speed plus 10 plus 2 and you know although there is an increase of sp cost by 10 percent again you need all four pews plate mantu greaves and the uh, seal now moving on to the mantu same effects um Greaves same effects although you get Adji plus one after upgrade after the level seven upgrade. I'm running the white Porcello card here, which gives you attack plus twenty. I don't use the Porcello card because simply enough the Pew's plate doesn't really have a slot. And then you know it's it's yeah <laughs> it's something that you, you don't really need or can't really run on this build. And then next is the Pew Steel attack plus twenty. I also have the gold scarab card here for additional 20 attack and obviously the most important part of the build is the storm stone i have the gold scarab card here but obviously i'm going to use the same thing um attack plus five percent attack speed plus five percent sp plus five percent we're not really going to look at the galardia um, as well as the Storm Stone combo because we're not running that but we're looking at more of the Pew's set so the Pew's Greaves um, reduction against the humans um, at plus 7 you get additional 10% attack speed um, at plus 9 another 10% attack speed which really helps with the whole you know ACD and you know how, how quickly you actually use the skills once you have everything the Pew's set plus the Storm Stone it actually adds an additional chance of buffing your, um, you know, the player 100% chance uh, for 10 seconds once you cast Arrow Blade. It's the reduction of the cast delay by 70%. Then that puts it up to up to 80%. And I'll show you how quickly you can actually do that later on the eggs with the Pew's Matthew and the Storm Stone. 
um, basically it's uh, demi human reduction as well as um, reduction of SP cost of wind cutter by 18 which means because wind cutters SP cost is 35 you're only using one SP every time you cast wind cutter because you already have minus 16 from um, the black ribbon and minus 18 here um, obviously reduction of long range damage by 10% well 20% if it's plus 9 um, Pew's Blade, very interesting. You actually get immune to Frozen. Um, obviously, um, some more demi-human reduction, but at plus 7, you get plus 15% HP. At plus 9, an additional 15% HP. And the Pew's Seal just sort of seals it off um, for additional 5% attack speed, um, attack, as well as SP uh, at 5%. So it's all in all, it's a, a lot of reduction from demi-humans, but the Stormstone is really essential for this build. Even though it is an OCP, it's actually a very cheap OCP that you can readily get. A lot of people are actually selling it. So let's try and do a little bit of testing, all right? Okay, here we are at the eggs. Uh, it's good that nobody's actually here. So we're gonna do um, all of our buffs as well as the attack runes plus the additional attack speed rune, the AC rune, um, just so that we can actually gauge how much damage that we're getting. There we go. Um, let's try the normal egg first. So roughly about 300k, but as you can see, when I cast the arrow blade, that 100% chance to reduce your ACD by 70% actually makes you, it makes it a lot quicker for you to do wind cutter. Now for the fire egg with a water enchant. Larger damage, obviously. Now with arrow blade. Nice. Okay, that's good. As you can see, um, it will require you to, I guess, cast Arrow Blade uh, more often than not, but you actually get a lot of benefits when you're when you're casting it. So, guys, that wraps up our showcase for the two OCP Wind Cutter Rune Knight build, budget build in a sense. Like I said, these OCPs are very cheap compared to the other OCPs that um, you see. Um, on from other videos and um, a lot of these are readily, readily available in the market or it's easier to farm especially with a pew set that you can actually get through the more request um, I hope this gives a lot of people insight on how to run a cheap way for wind cutter and you know if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and um, stay tuned for more wind cutter videos um, in the next couple of weeks